Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. This is going to be a continuation of the first two videos that I did on the RCA hiring process. So if you did not see those two videos, make sure you guys check those videos out before you watch this one. It's been a whole process of being hired for the RCA position. So I definitely want you guys to know there's more to this hiring process. So definitely go watch those videos. I'll link them down below and also they'll be at the end of the video as well. So my next step after I finished my orientation I went and I did my driving test at the range so they wanted us to show up at seven o'clock it was just two of us who did the test that day and they were only allowed to do two people at a time so luckily I got in on the first day and so we showed up and I just seen a bunch of cones everywhere I seen some mounted mailboxes I seen an LLV FFV and a ProMaster. So basically when we first got there, they basically showed us around each of the vehicles, the LLV, the FFV, and the ProMaster. After that, one of us got in the LLV, one of us got in the FFV, and we drove around a course, which was basically a bunch of cones lined up. You go through kind of an S curve, you go up to some mailboxes, deliver some mail, take some mail out, and then continue on to a couple of mailboxes that have obstacles, which is basically like kids or a trash can or whatever the case may be. And then you kind of got to go up to it at an angle and deliver the mail, get around the obstacle, and then come up to where you're gonna parallel park the vehicle so you parallel park you move on to the next couple of mailboxes and then you come up to where you're backing into a loading dock and I do that because basically it's just cones out there and you're pretending like it's a loading dock and then you're backing into that. So we basically did that a bunch of times and then after that, the guy that was with me doing the test, he went out in the LLV and drive around on the road and then while he was doing that, I was driving in the ProMaster because at my office that I'm gonna be at, they have the ProMasters and the other guy, he's not gonna have ProMasters at his office so he didn't have to drive that but I drove around the course in the pro masters did some backing up after that the guy came back from his test i went out on my test uh and basically it's not really a test guys it's just basically driving on the road even this whole they, they do call it a driver test but really they want you to succeed they want you to do your best and you're getting your practice in even though they call it a test but it's very simple very easy guys I will insert a clip right here of a little bit of the course that I got so you guys can kind of get an idea maybe of what it looks like or at least the one I went to I can't say yours is gonna look like this or not but you can watch that now So yeah, so that was it as far as that driver test. It went really well. I was there from about seven to like one o'clock, I believe. So it wasn't that long of a day. So the next day, I actually went in for my shadow day. And basically, I arrived there at 7.45. I met up with my supervisor and then he walked me over to a regular rule carrier who I was gonna be following around. So once I got to the rule carrier, I let him know that, you know, I was a CCA before I have done case and delivering mail and all of that so basically it's just me watching him case up flats which are magazines and then he got the DPS and I was able to case up some DPS which is um, you know regular letter mail if you guys don't know like the terms but I was able to case that up showed me where to get the parcels the packages and then he kind of set up his order of his route with his packages small packages and all that and then we headed out on the street and we left the office around 10 40 and you're basically sitting in the back of the truck and just watching him deliver mail so it was just basically that the whole day I did get out a couple of times because he had a um, delivery to a car dealership and you have to walk in to deliver the mail and that was pretty much it sitting back in the truck and watching him and just talking about everything or whatever and that was it got back to the office around 2 30 so he was out on the street about four hours which is not long not what I'm used to definitely used to delivering mail like literally all day being out there for like 10 hours 12 hours and all that so it's a big change from the CCA position and that might have to be in another video I'm not even gonna get into that right now but 
it was an easy day and that was it for shadow day just basically shadowing the carrier all right so the next thing you guys last and final thing is the rca driver academy so you get in around eight o'clock and first day they give us these books i'll insert a little pable contents in this book so you guys can kind of see what is in this book but also they give us the rural carriers duties and responsibilities i haven't looked through this we didn't really use this in the class and then also they give us the standard training for rural letter letter carriers book we also didn't really look at this or go through this the main book that we used is this book this is participant guide so we basically throughout the four days of this rca driver training we went through this entire book you guys and i just want to talk about some of the other main things that we did in the class first thing is we were given the opportunity to case mail if you guys don't know what casing mail is, it's basically just getting your route in order, your like magazines and things like this into your case and then, you know, regular letter mail as well. We were able to do that for uh, a little bit, not too long because it was, there was 11 of us in this class so we kind of had to rotate because they only had probably like six available cases we kind of had to you know spend a little bit of time but then allow for the next person to go so then we were able to open up a cluster box it's just a big box with a bunch of little boxes inside so i didn't actually open the cluster box i've opened many a cluster boxes and i just didn't even get up actually i wasn't feeling too good that day which was the last day and i didn't even end up getting up and opening it but one of the other main points that we did go over is labeling the Mail. so sometimes you might have to return mail to the office and you want to make, make sure that you're labeling it properly which means you know maybe there's an insufficient address no such number maybe it needs to go to the forwarding system just different things that you might have to label the mail so that it can get to the proper place that it needs to go basically a lot of stuff that we went over guys in this class and it's stuff that you know maybe you'll remember for me I learned a couple of things that I actually didn't know before which is really surprising because I did carry mail for two years and we didn't have this training before so I definitely think it's necessary training for people coming into the post office to learn a little bit even though I know a lot of people learn more so on the job training more than just classroom training but I definitely think the way the class was set up and the teachers that we had they were great they made it fun I think the way the vibe of the class and the way they gave the class was really really good and really fun so yeah that's pretty much it for the driver academy it's really simple really easy you do get to learn a lot so definitely take the time to kind of try and remember the things and you know we were able to keep all of our books so at any point I can go in here and find out anything that I need to find out the four days did seem kind of long but I'm glad that it's over now so the next steps are for me to go to my office and train with a carrier so I've already been given my schedule for my training I'm going to be going Monday Tuesday and Friday and I'm actually training with the lady who taught the class she's gonna be training me so I'm gonna be on her route with her training which is gonna be interesting and fun but that's the next steps for me to actually get on the job and get started I'm excited it's been kind of a long process of everything that's been going on like like I said check out the other videos videos that I put out but yeah stay tuned for these next couple of videos that are going to be coming out I'm probably not going to be able to do much video while I'm training but once I get out on the street definitely be prepared for those videos that are going to be coming guys so thank you guys so much for watching make sure you guys subscribe to my channel and I will see you guys in the next video bye